Hello and welcome to another edition of my marathon journey toward a better smile using smileof.com. It is time to switch over to step number 10. And that's a big step. And I'll tell you why here in just a minute, but we're looking forward to it. But before we get into that, uh, another quick tip for you. One of the things that I do, especially whenever I'm at home, is to make sure that whenever my trays come out that I clean them as thoroughly as possible. And it's easy to do. There's all kinds of products that you see out there that uh, are sold specializing in cleaning clear aligners. But you know what? This is the generic denture cleanser tablets work great and you can get these dirt cheap. I got this in a two pack 240 tablets and I have a little plastic cup that I keep in uh, the bathroom and every time I take my trays out I put them in just a little bit of water drop a tablet in there and when I go to put them in all I have to do is rinse them off put them in and they feel clean and uh, they are wonderfully clean very easily so there's a quick tip for you it's difficult to do uh, when you're out on the road, but uh, when you're at home, it makes life so much easier and takes a lot less time than having to brush them or uh, clean them off with uh, dish soap and then having to rinse them thoroughly and put them back in. Just throw in a denture cleaner tablet and they'll be as good as new when it's time to put them in. Speaking of time to put them in, we are at step 10. Now, for those of you that have been following, you know that my treatment plan is a little over a year, 12 and a half months to be exact, but that's for the bottom. I have 18 steps for my top teeth. So since we just finished nine, this is the start of the second half for my top teeth. I'm halfway done with the top, which is fabulous. And one of the things that I notice is that there's a gap between these two teeth that hasn't existed before. There's a gap between these two teeth and there's a gap between these two teeth. So there's now room for these teeth to start moving into place that uh, when I first started, my front two teeth were crossed over and crowded and pushed out. And now they're starting to get the space to get in there. And that's an exciting thing to see. So what happens when I get to past step 18 and I keep going with my bottom trays. Well, they say what you do is just wear the bottom trays and you don't need top trays. You only wear the retainer, top retainer at night. I might stick with one tray on the top just for convenience sake so it doesn't feel strange just having one in. I don't know, we'll see what happens when we get there, but that's uh, something for another session. The other nice thing is that uh, while I'm still working on the bottom, the top will be done, so if there's any refinements that need to be done. It'll be easy to get uh, get that done. So again, this is live. The only edits that I do is uh, if I have to use a chewy in order to chomp down on these, I will uh, will cut that out so mercifully you won't have to deal with uh, that noise. But again, I'm taking a look at my bottom trays and crystal clear no snags, nothing hanging out. Um, so far, it's just been fabulous. Here we go with the bottoms. Those went in fairly easily. And uh, the lisp is back. I can feel it in pretty much, this, this was covering the same teeth that it was doing before. And it's going to be the same thing for my tops. It's going to be another uh, session of uh, those same teeth. So I know what they're going to be moving. So I pretty well, well know what to expect. And uh, the top trays, beautifully clear, molded, scalloped. Yep, sounds fine. Here we go at the top. Okay, I had to grab a Chewy off camera uh, to get them seated because they dropped in fairly easily, but I could tell that they weren't in all the way. So I grabbed a Chewy and bit down and bang, that top one popped in. 
and I can tell exactly what's going to be happening there. Again, not painful, but for the next two days, um, there's going to be soreness there because we're moving teeth and we're moving big teeth. So uh, that's to be expected. But after the third day, it starts lessening. And by the fourth day, it's no big deal. And after the fourth day, you're just kind of waiting until uh, the two weeks is up so you can change to another set of trays. So big news, halfway done with the top. That's exciting. If you want to try Smile Love to get the smile that you've always wanted, got an affiliate link down here. Use that and uh, you'll get some money off and get a great deal. And as I always say, if you happen to find another deal that's better out there, uh, I'm all about saving money. These are by far the least expensive form of uh, getting your teeth straightened that I have ever seen, but getting, getting an even better deal is great. So if you find a better deal that I can give you, that's fine. But if you do, please let them know that you saw it here first and uh, that way they'll know that you saw him saw it here and head it on over and maybe they'll be following me and you along your journey don't anticipate anything different this has been a, a real easy couple of weeks and i expect the next for the next two weeks and if that's the case we'll see you in a couple of weeks as always take care of those teeth and take care of those smiles